Guten Tag alle. Heute werden wir ein bisschen über die Fehler reden. Today we will talk a little bit about the cases. And we're going to talk specifically about three cases in German. The nominative, accusative, dative. And we're going to do some examples to kind of show you how they uh, change. So the first thing you should know is what makes something nominative or nominative. Um, if it is the subject of a sentence, it is considered in German to be in the nominative case. Or if it comes after a form of the verb sein, which means to be, and that form can be any conjugation of it, such as bin, bist, is, sin, sight. Uh, there are a couple other verbs that also indicate the nominative as well. What makes something accusative? Uh, if it is the direct object of a sentence, or the das direct object, es ist accusative, it's accusative. Or if it comes after the prepositions, durch, für, gegen, ohne, um, which are all accusative prepositions. Uh, it's dative if it is the indirect object of a sentence, a noun that is, or if it comes after aus, außer, by, mit, nach, seit, von, zu, and these are dative prepositions. So let's uh, take an example here. Ich kann mein Haus nicht sehen. I can't see my house. In this particular case, the underlying word Haus would be accusative because it is the direct object of a sentence. Remember, the direct object is uh, normally what is receiving the action of the verb. In this case, what cannot be seen is the house. Wo ist der junge Mann? Where is the young man? In this sentence, Mann, the underlying noun, is a nominative because it comes after a conjugation of the verb sein, which is ist. So, it is nominative. Das ist nicht für meinen Bruder. In this sentence, Bruder is accusative because it comes after an accusative preposition, für, making it effectively the object of an accusative prepositional phrase. Ich kann dem Mann meinen Kuli geben. I can give the man my pen. In this case, Kuli is the direct object, and the indirect object is the man. Remember, the indirect object is to whom or for whom something is given or done. So, it is accusative, and you can uh, see that by the ending on the possessive pronoun mine, which is meinen, because it is a masculine noun, der Kuli. Er kam aus dem Haus. He came out of the house. In this case, house is dative because it comes after aus, which is a dative preposition, making it the object of a dative prepositional phrase. Die junge Frau war sehr nett. The lady here is the subject of the sentence, so therefore this noun is considered to be in the nominative case. Die junge Frau war sehr nett. Ich werde die Jacke anziehen. I will put on the jacket. In this case, jacket is the direct object, so it is accusative case. It is what is being put on. Ist das von meiner Oma? Is that from my grandmother? In this uh, sentence, Oma is dative because it is the object of a dative preposition. And that preposition is von. Er muss gegen den Wind kämpfen. Again, this uh, noun is accusative because it is the object of an accusative prepositional phrase, beginning with gegen. Du bist eine klüge Frau. In this sentence, Frau is nominative because it comes after a conjugation of the form sign, which in this case is bist. I hope this has been helpful for you. Vielen Dank. Auf Wiedersehen.